When did you hear? About an hour ago. She gave them my name. Mr. Peter Russick? Yes. How bad is it? If we'd only seen her, even a couple of months ago, we can continue to try and treat the infection. But the possibility exists that we'll lose both mother and child. Will my grandchild live, Doctor? The trauma of the child removal could actually kill her. She bought this on herself. Pumped herself so full of that stuff, she didn't know if she was Arthur or Martha. You tried to stop her. We all tried to stop her. You gave her everything, Peter, everything. You, she was lucky to have you. And how, how does she repay you? She's nothing. A waste of space. A bad seed. Good riddance to her. Oh, she made her bed. She can bloody well lie in it. Mr. Russick needs time to think. What is there to think about? With all due respect, Mrs. Holmes, it's not your decision to make. What do you mean it's not my decision? Of course it's my decision. <sighs> it's for the next of kin to make a decision in regards to what happens to the patients. Next of kin? I'm the mother. I am the next of kin. Not according to the patient. He said that there's a chance, but only a chance, that she could survive if you do nothing. But if you don't do anything, that baby, your child, my grandchild, will die. Even if I do agree to this, the baby still may not survive. But at least it will have a chance. She's had hers. Now give your baby the same chance. I loved her. You have to grow up now, Peter. You can save your child if you act now. There are certain legal implications that I really can't get into. I'm, I'm asking you. your opinion. And I can't give you my opinion. Mr. Russick, it's entirely your decision. It's not my decision. It's not Mrs. Helmer's decision. It's your decision. You have to think. You have to tell us what to do. And when you do, we'll do the best possible job we can. But you have to make the decision. You have to make the choice. The right thing to do for both, both 